Hi, this is Eric with Motion Workshop, and this is a hybrid tracking Vive setup tutorial. This assumes that you already have two base stations and a Vive tracker, as well as the Bluetooth dongle plugged into your PC and Steam and Steam VR installed. So go to the Settings tab, and we'll want to go to the Skeleton and change it from Default to Shadow Hybrid. And then down in Hybrid Tracker, you want to verify you have Vive Tracker and Steam VR selected. So first, uh, start up Steam, Steam VR, and we're going to first pair the Vive Tracker. So go to the drop down, Devices, and Pair Controller. Now select HTC Vive Tracker, and you'll need to turn on the tracker while it's in view of the base stations. So hold down the top button until it turns on, you'll get a blue LED. And next to pair it, you hold down for a few seconds and it will turn blinking blue. Once it's paired, it should turn green. And you'll see in the devices list that you'll see that there is a tracker present now, along with the two base stations. Next, we're going to do the room setup. Because we don't have an HMD connected, um, you'll just do standing only. So just click next, calibrate center, and then enter in the height of the base station from the floor. Here it's 200 centimeters. Calibrate floor, and that's it. So uh, now we're going to start up the Shadow Desktop app and uh, first verify you're connected to the Shadow devices turned on and you're connected to its Wi-Fi. So go to the Settings tab and we'll want to go to the Skeleton and change it from Default to Shadow Hybrid. And then down in Hybrid Tracker you want to verify you have Vive Tracker and Steam VR selected. Now uh, go back and scan for devices and connect and you'll see we're reading from 17 devices. Next, uh, pick up the Vive Tracker and move it around. You'll see now in the 3D preview, um, the avatar is being driven by the Vive Tracker, which is represented by a green sphere. Uh, next, put on the Vive Tracker. It goes on your right leg, and it should be worn up on the right thigh near the hip. Now we're going to set the rest pose. So to do this, you need to face with one arm facing one base station and the other arm facing the other base station. So align yourself with the base stations, do the T pose, the rest pose, and then you can verify to see if you got a good result. Here this looks pretty good. So we'll just test it, now you climb up in a chair, make sure that the vibe tracker is functioning. And it looks like it's driving the skeleton nicely and so I think we're happy with the results here. Now you're ready to record using the Shadow Hybrid tracking system. Thanks for watching.